it may be helpful, but let's understand what the, what the potential consequences are here. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I have Neuro Coffee in hand and it is perfect. All right. Well, it is Wednesday. That means that tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., Coffee and Coaches Conference Call, as usual. Always great calls, great questions, um, lots of fun. Please join us. The link will be on my professional Facebook page just prior to the call at 6 a.m. So I'll see you then. All right, digging into today's Q&A. This is with Jordan. Um, Jordan, that's a great question. Um, we talk about influencing foot mechanics a lot of times by, by placing arches in, in shoes or orthotics. And a lot of these strategies are to influence the rate at which certain things happen. So when we talk about our, our propulsive phase of the foot, you know, we've got our, our heel rocker, we have our ankle rocker, and then we've got the toe rocker. And, and the timing of each of those is influential as far as what the output's going to be in regards to how we uh, demonstrate internal rotations and external rotations. Um, this conversation um, had to do with actually putting a, a, a lateral wedge underneath the calcaneus to accelerate the ability to get the medial calcaneus um, to the ground. Um, sometimes can be very useful, um, but there's always secondary consequences to everything that you're going to do under these circumstances. And so the thing that I want you to recognize here is, is that um, if you can understand those secondary consequences, then we can be a little bit more judicious as to how we're going to apply these things, um, whether we're gonna use them for extended periods of time and how do we determine how long or when we're going to actually use them. So, so Jordan asked a great question here. I think it's going to be very helpful for a lot of people, especially in regards to um, foot mechanics and where's and when's. Okay. So if you'd like to participate in a 15-minute consultation, please go to askbillhartman at gmail.com, askbillhartman at gmail.com, and put 15-minute consultation in the subject line so I don't delete it. We'll arrange that at our mutual convenience. I will see you tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., uh, for the Coffee and Coaches Conference call. Everybody have an outstanding day. I'll see you later. Um, I guess it just made me think about it, but um, are these the people that have a hard time getting into that medial they kind of skip around mid propulsion. They're having trouble getting into the medial aspect of their calcaneus. So that whether it's like baseball or cricket, whomever, um, are those the type of people you might actually use like a lateral wedge if it doesn't hinder their performance, assuming um, you, I rarely hear about ever using you always, most people I've been around, I always say like never use a lateral wedge for whatever reason in terms of orthotics, but would this scenario be like possibly beneficial? Um, that's a big fat maybe. Yeah. I mean, from a, from a concept standpoint, yes, but, but let me offer you this. If I, if I give you a medial wedge, okay, what did I just take away from you? What are the consequences? What, so, so there might be a benefit to get the medial foot contact with a lateral wedge. Okay. Right. But what is the secondary consequence of giving somebody a lateral wedge? Shortening mid propulsion. What did you take away? Like, what can they no longer do? Pronate. That, that, that would be a normal, natural representation of stepping forward. Pronate. No. So you're so you're going to drive them towards. So you're going to drive them towards middle in, at a faster rate by putting a lateral wedge in the shoe. Okay. What? Where do you initially contact the ground when you step forward towards early propulsion? Lateral aspect. Yes. So you're taking away you're taking away a lateral foot contact, okay? Now, and again, maybe there's a benefit to this to, to allow them to capture middle more effectively, but understand what this potential secondary consequences are, right? So if I land, if I, if I, if I try to make a lateral heel contact and I immediately get pushed to, to, to the uh, medial aspect of the, of the calcaneus, okay? You just accelerated me in that direction very quickly, right? So now, um, here's what I wanna do. Um, try landing on your medial foot, stepping forward, okay? And then, um, and not internally rotating the tibia. It's hard. 
It is hard. It's very hard. Okay. So do I want to land? Do I want to land in that representation? Now, what would be another potential consequence? So if I take away the ER position at ground contact, do you think you're going to try to find the ER representation somewhere else? Probably. Probably. Okay. That's a really good answer, actually. Okay. Now think about where it might show up. I'm imagining upper extremity or the... Don't even go that far. Like you don't even need oh, to go that far. Don't name. go that far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. So... That, that, oh yeah. Uh huh. So you see the foot. Out. So you see the foot slam down into into the medial foot contact, but the tibia stays out. Right. You see it. It just goes right up your leg because I because I'm I need I need my ER representation to get me into the position. If I take away if I take away that lateral foot contact then I my starting conditions have changed. I'm going to land in middle, but I'm still going to try to stay ER. So where do you think the center of gravity is going to want to go as I'm, as I'm landing in an early propulsive foot? If you're landing in early propulsive? I'm trying to land in early. But oh, you, you, took away, probably you took away my early foot. Right. So probably okay. outwards. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. So, so, so now my center of gravity is going to try to stay lateral. Well, how do I do that? I twist the entire leg into external rotation. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I won't say that it's never helpful, okay? But you just have to understand what the potential consequences are because the minute you do something like that, and then let's just say that you're initially successful, it, it using it as a permanent strategy may not be the future representation of what you're trying to do. Got it. You get it? Oh, yeah. Just be yeah. careful of the consequences. It, All right. You 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 have to understand what the consequences are because jamming somebody's again, you gotta be really, really careful. It's like we know where the ERs are, we know where the IRs are supposed to be, right? And so again, if I if I move it, it's just, it's like um, here you go. You why do you put an arch into into a shoe um in regards to the translation of the tibia? What happens to the tibia when you put an arch in the shoe? Slows it down. It slows it down. Okay. If I put a lateral wedge, if I put a lateral wedge in, in a shoe, what did you just accelerate? Yeah. The opposite. Yeah. yeah. So you see, you see, you see, it's like, yes, it may be helpful, but let's understand what the, what the potential consequences are here. Right. Don't blindly say this is better. Say this is what's going to happen. Maybe it's a good thing. Get it. Yep. Makes a lot Very of sense. Cool. All yeah. right. Thank awesome. you. Uh-huh.